say something is a really painful experience and I'm really glad I don't have to do that anymore. Uh, I, I had right from the beginning intended this to be a group blog and have a bunch of writers and uh, quickly discovered how hard it is to find people willing to do this. And it still is a continual struggle, so if any of you want to write, uh, keep me in mind. So this was always intended, like I said, to be a group blog, but uh, for the first year the group was me. Uh, but now there's, um, at any given time, five, seven, ten people writing. It varies a lot. People come and go. Sometimes they leave and come back. Uh, as far as the name goes, uh, usually when people ask me, I facetiously say it's the dangers of buying uh, domain names when you've been drinking. <laughs> but, but that's not actually true. I was stone sober when I uh, bought the domain name. But what it was, was it was a whim. And I, at the time, saw this as a short time, you know, I'm going to do this for a few months, I'll work it out in my system, and then it'll go away. Because I've had a lot of web properties of that sort, and this one's stuck. And it's now actually pretty widely read. I'm kind of amazed. I often have the experience of meeting people, and we talk for a little while, and they suddenly say, wait, you're that Steve. And, and you know, so that, that's kind of interesting and new. Uh, a couple of myths about bloggers I want to dispel since we we'll seem to be in a myth dispelling mode this afternoon in this room. I don't live in my mother's basement. <laughs> uh, I do not eat Cheetos while I vlog, although I do occasionally have a really nice glass of red wine. Real, no, not occasionally. Or beer. I'm, I'm a home brewer too, so uh, there's never any shortage of beer in the house. Um, it's kind of an interesting experience. Living on a farm outside of Downsville and realizing most of the people who are reading what you are writing are not from anywhere near around here. We have readers uh, largely from Wisconsin, but certainly not exclusively. Uh, more people in Madison and Milwaukee than around here, which isn't surprising. Uh, the third biggest city recently is Eau Claire, so uh, actually we're getting a lot more Readers better up, spread out around the state, and I'll talk about that in a minute. Um, I do have friends, <laughs> believe it or not. Uh, I don't log in my pajamas. Uh, I might, but I usually don't wear pajamas, so it would be like really odd. And uh, it's really not a solitary life. I mean, I, we do, I do travel around and do things, and um, it's really not solitary these days. Well, here comes the part where I wish the slide projector, the, the projector was working, but uh, so it's not just me. People think it's just me, but you know, for example, I have an editorial staff uh, named uh, Champ and Gidget, uh, <laughs> and uh, we have a chief financial officer who is our cat, <laughs> and uh, which probably explains why we lost so much money in Tuna Futures last year. <laughs> Keep him away from the checkbook. So we do a lot of different things. Uh, we write news articles based on things happening in the state, uh, and it is primarily a state-based blog. So I usually will not say uh, things about national politics or encourage things about national politics, but it slips in because you know we all live here, right? Uh, we do a lot of opinion pieces. It's mostly an opinion blog, uh, although we occasionally have a news scoop, which is kind of surprising, actually, because it's not really our purpose. Uh, we're working more and more as a gathering place for event postings around the state, and we're working toward hosting different groups in subsections of the site and making some other changes. I'd really like to have us develop uh, more of a beat system where we'd actually have writers who cover particular beats. This is really hard because most of us are like all over the place, but, but that does kind of happen to some extent. We have people who write mostly about environment. Uh, we got people who write mostly about the craziness happening in Madison. We got uh, one of our writers is very big on, on uh, gun control issues, so. These things happen. We also do some fundraising for progressive political candidates, and uh, 
just for a minute, I'd like to say that I actually still see us as a nonpartisan blog, even though I'm sure lots of people would disagree with that. Uh, I say that mostly because there was a time when progressive politics was not a strictly democratic party issue, and uh, you know, if there were Republican candidates I was willing to support, I'd very happily support them, but at the moment I don't see that happening. Things you get to do as a blogger. Uh, I got the really interesting experience of sitting underneath the state podium at the Democratic Convention in 2008, which is like really odd. But yes, it was neat because that year they, they gave you, you know, your own, got my own Ethernet connection, had my own cable there on the floor and a floor pass. Got to meet Obama, that was exciting. Uh, they're kind of Hearing back on all of this this time around, which is unfortunate. Uh, and I'm not going because I can't afford it. Uh, you have to spend your own money to travel. Uh, so I'm going to Netroots Nation this spring and or early summer, and uh, that's going to bankrupt me. Uh, so you're constantly looking for ways to support your blog and support yourself. And right at the moment, we're almost breaking even, so that's like a cool thing. Uh, you get to meet a lot of people on the internet, and occasionally you get to meet them in person, which is even more fun. Um, and you get to work really odd hours. So I ran this kind of sleepy blog for a long time, and you know, things were going okay, and we had readers and stuff like that, and then came, as I like to think of it, the troubles. <laughs> <laughs> and last February, uh, it was really odd. I, I happened to be in Ian Madison when the Act 10 bill was signed, or, well, when it was passed, because uh, I was meeting with some people from uh, Wisconsin Public Radio about a business deal that didn't happen, and um, walked out of the meeting, and there were all these people heading up State Street toward the Capitol. And, I mean, I kind of knew why, but I was kind of astounded by how many of them there were, and I ended up, you know, staying for a large part of that week, because, um, you know, who could leave? So a lot of things changed that week. Uh, our traffic spiked. Uh, we suddenly had four, five, six, you know, that week we had about 12 times as many readers as normal, which was <laughs> really made me glad I'd made changes to the web server the week before, totally by accident, I'd gotten the timing right on something for a change. We had really big spikes in readership. Uh, I've learned a lot of things. If Rachel Maddow tweets one of your articles on your blog, your server will be struggling for about six hours. Uh, and that's happened a few times. Uh, I get phone calls from news organizations, which is like really weird, you know, and with the NBC News calls, even they want to talk about things. <laughs> Uh, for a while I was writing for the BBC, which was interesting, not for TV or radio, but for their uh, website, uh, because they used to have a radio show in England about blogging, and uh, so that, that was fun. And I've occasionally written like for The Guardian, and it's always English papers, I don't know why. Um, I've had this really odd experience that being a Wisconsin blogger these days makes you a rock star when you go to things like Netroots Nation, and like this was never the case before. So that's been interesting. Uh, you can be on panels, and people invite you places, and you can't afford to go. It's, um, you need to sell a lot more web hosting, I guess. Um, but I find that you know people know who I am when I go places like Madison and Washington, and you know they're. State legislators say, hi, Steve, when you're in Madison, which is like not anything I'm used to. Well, Ross Feingold always used to, but I've known him for years. So life has changed a lot, and uh, it's interesting because working from this little office in my farm, I actually get read by, well, not me personally, but me and the people who blog for me, we get read by about 60,000 people every month, and some of them are actually influential people. It's always interesting to see where the hits on the site are coming from. And so that's sort of been 
my big uh, participatory and social democracy story for the last six years. And uh, that was really all I had to say. So I think we're reaching, wow, on time. I can't believe it. Uh, so I think we're reaching the uh, question and answer part and discussion. So uh, let's discuss. Thank you.